All right, something pretty incredible happened today. Following a fairly typical pattern, the American left, run by ideological lunatics, quietly admitted that they were dead wrong again and flip-flopped back to sanity. In the most humiliating moment imaginable, as of today, the Biden administration will continue building former President Trump's wall. I'll say it again. The Biden administration is going to continue building President Trump's wall. Over the past several years, think about the rhetoric that we've heard regarding this wall and regarding his immigration policies in general. It was literally a monument to fascism in their eyes, this wall at our southern border. And now they're going to help build it. Here's how Biden has sounded in the past. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration, number one. We're going to work purposely, diligently, and responsibly to roll back Trump's restrictions, starting on day one. Mm. The administration quietly announcing last night they're going to build portions of the border wall in Texas. Mayorkas stating there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers, also known as a wall, and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States. Oh, you mean we have to stop unlawful entry into the United States? I thought the border was closed. Has your brain exploded yet? Mayorkas waiving 26 laws to immediately start construction, including environmental regulations, the same kind they typically exploit to prevent this country from protecting its borders or from being things like energy independent. And it doesn't stop there. CBS reporting the administration is restarting direct deportations of Venezuelans in an attempt to reduce illegal border crossings. When did we get Nazis in the White House? I don't remember anybody changing anything. Did we elect somebody new last night? I can't recall. This after a record 50,000 Venezuelans crossed into this country last month. I thought that was supposed to strengthen us. I thought immigration makes us stronger. So they know their policies are unsustainable, and all they see is an election a year away, perhaps. A new Marquette Law School poll shows Trump beating Biden by 24 points on the issue of border security and immigration. Mark Morgan is the former acting CBP commissioner under President Trump. Rodney Scott, the former chief of Border Patrol. Gentlemen, good to have you both on. Mark, Mayorkas backtracking from his own border wall memo earlier. I want to take a look at that. There is no new administration policy with respect to the border wall. From day one, this administration has made clear that a border wall is not the answer. That remains our position, and our position has never wavered. The language in the Federal Register notice is being taken out of context, and it does not signify any change in policy whatsoever. I mean, Mark, we're obviously run by idiots. We know that. But I mean, wh what is the real story here? What is actually happening? Yeah, so I refer to today's press conference, uh, Rob, as a, a complete clown show. It yeah. showed that this administration is not serious. Here's the only factual thing that they said. The only reason why they're doing this is because they have to by law. It's called the Impoundment Act. Because yeah. of the appropriations that was passed in 2019, if they don't use that for what it was earmarked for, they would be in violation of that law. And this is a law that they can't not enforce because it's a serious, very clear violation. But look, look, look the two points you, you, you brought up, the Rob, are very, very critically important. Because if the wall is immoral and ineffective, why did the DH secretary, as you said, waive 26 laws? that will expedite its construction. And then regardless of what secretary says, because look, we know every time the secretary opens his mouth, he's lying. Yeah. Let's, let's stop listening to what he says. Let's look at what he wrote. An acute, immediate need for a wall to stop illegal immigration. Let's focus on that. Rodney, uh, you know, I, 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 I think at the core of this, all I really want to know is, was this a, I mean, you know, Mark just made a good point that they have to spend this money appropriated in 2019. But I still feel like they, th there was another option to get around this. I mean, it, it seems like maybe there's been a shift. I always hope that maybe they've seen the light. Do you think they have, or is this just uh, they're forced <laughs> to do this? I, I really don't know. Absolutely not. I couldn't agree with Mark more. I think the thing we need to focus on here is, hey, both can't be true. So this is just <laughs> one more piece of evidence that this individual, Secretary Marcus, lacks integrity. He wrote down on paper that there's this urgent need to basically waive all these environmentals and then went on the news and said, no, there's really no need. Pick one. So hopefully if no one pays attention to anything else, they pay attention to the fact that this guy's mouse moving. He's lying. Uh, they fought from day one. If you just remind everybody, I was in the Trump administration. 
I was there when we were talking about the border wall the first few weeks, and they brought up the Impoundment Act. They were very worried about the Impoundment Act and violating it. So they came up with a strategy to slow roll and literally try to just drip all the money away without doing any major construction. Uh, unfortunately for them, time ran out at the end of this last fiscal year. On September 30th, that money would have lapsed. Uh, they believed that they would have had a significant Impoundment Act violation if they didn't do something. And then uh, they acted quickly, and Mayorkas said the truth for a change. There's a real issue, and we need a wall. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I, 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 so, Mark, you don't think that anything has shifted ideologically on, on, on the border? You don't think they're trying to move a little bit more moderate before the election because they're getting killed on immigration? Nothing Absolutely like not. I, I, I couldn't have uh, said it better as Chief Scott just said it. Yeah. And let's keep in mind, there, there's talk about, so if this wall is so immoral, so inhumane, and so ineffective, and they keep saying, well, we, we asked Congress to reappropriate the, 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 the funding. Well, who was in charge of Congress for the first two years? If it was that important, if they were so against this wall, how is it that a, a Democrat-controlled Congress of both chambers couldn't get yeah. that money reappropriated? Yeah. Got to leave it there. Mark and Rodney, good to see you both. Thank you so much. We'll follow it. Have a good night. Thanks. All right. Texas DPS uh, launched Operation Lone Star in 2021 to combat what the federal government is doing to your border. It includes ground, marine, tactical, and air security at the border. They have apprehended at least 377,000 illegals, seized more than 417 million lethal doses of fentanyl. Our border reporter, Jason Jones, went up in a helicopter earlier this week with the team and saw their work firsthand. And Jason joins us again tonight. Oh, Rob, good evening. It's good to be with you. You know, all week I have waited for this package. I've wanted to show the American people this because for two and a half plus years on your program, I've been coming on talking about how these alien smuggling organizations and the Mexican cartels truly treat men, women and children as a commodity. You're about to witness two helicopters rescue a family from four hostage takers, ultimately nine people being rescued. But listen to the radio here. Listen to the coordination 25 miles into the United States, just inside Eagle Pass, from Lieutenant Justin Hilton, who's the pilot, and Tactical Flight Officer Dose Mayfield. Yeah, we're, we got a call to go assist uh, Maverick County. It's uh, eight or ten women and kids are being held hostage by someone out here in the brush. So. If you got people them all, they're saying there's about six and they're saying they are armed. 116, eyes on, eyes on. So we got two children, a male and a female. All right, we were we were called out here to, uh, one of the UDAs called 911, said they were being held hostage and being chased. And we come out here located four, there's a man and a woman and uh, two children. Uh, we've not located anybody else yet. You're miles from the border here. Absolutely. These are one of them are circumventing the checkpoints and trying to get away. We just got ground units guided to them, so hopefully we'll get some more information here of what's really going on. They ran across that road, and there's a little creek that runs towards the railroad track. The right side skid. Yellow shoes and jeans with black shoes. Hey, guys, give us the radio. Get off the radio. Agent running through the brush. Stop where you're at. Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Let me, let me, what you, tech two? Yeah, tech two. Hey, Agent, they're on their parallel on a two track, or a little track that's uh, off your right hand side. Coming out to your right right now. Go to your right. They're right there coming up that trail to you. Duck down. Duck down. Five yards. Yeah, you that just walked out that track. Keep coming down that track. Agent, they're coming up on your right. Or actually, they're coming up on your left. Coming up on your left. Got him. Good nab. Good, good nab. Job. Two in custody. Upon further search, we got some other units in the area. We started cutting sign. And three different groups were located. Uh, an additional group of seven. Another group of two and another group of five. So we have 14 additional people that were uh, all taken into custody within this area of our search. Just goes to show there's always somebody out here. Rob, those two individuals you just saw taken into custody, those two, they were the kidnappers. There were two more that were also captured. I have to tell you, these are what we call the runners. You hear me talk about them all the way, ultimately the gotaways, which they would have been if this family had not hit one of those kidnappers over the head with a rock were able to escape. They were being chased when we came in with that helicopter, and these officers truly saved their lives. But the coordination between local, state, and federal was absolutely incredible. And this is exactly why Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, a almost $10 billion Texas-funded operation, is taking place. If you don't embed with law enforcement, you don't get to see the crime wave that Americans are feeling all over this country. Back to you. That's amazing. That was an amazing video. Jason Jones, thank you so much.